But what is going on guys and gals, your boy J-Love coming back at you with another video about non-CDL and CDL Hotshot. In this video, we're going to be talking about if you should be working during the winter. Well guys and gals, I really wasn't going to make this video, but I got to say thanks to my comment section that kind of gave me the idea to make this video. If you guys haven't seen a video I just made... Um, it's called Why You Should Start Hotshot Trucking in 2022. It's actually doing pretty well. Been up for a couple days. Has a couple thousand views already. Thank you, everybody who's watched the video and liked the video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's pretty, pretty cool there. But somebody commented, and I really like this comment, this question. He said, would it be worth being a hotshot from De December 1st to March 1st in, in my off season? I already have trucks. And I basically just commented, one of my guys took nine days off for Christmas and still did $18,000 in December, which is true. And another guy commented and said, lies. And I said, I'll make a video on it right now, LOL. That's what we're doing right now, making this video. So I want to go over kind of the washouts for my guy, Rod. Rod's super awesome dude. He has his own YouTube channel, kind of going over Hotshot as well. I'll link him down below. Um, but I'm going to go over his washouts. What a washout is, guys, is that's how I pay um, the lease ons. Every two weeks, I give him a washout that details every single load they did during the two-week period, details how much they owe for fuel, <clears throat> how much for insurance, which never changes, um, if they need any permits, whatever, my cut's taken out of that, right? So it shows the gross and shows the net um, that's going to be sent to them, right? So let's go to the first washout and we'll go from there. So as you can see on this washout, guys, this starts on, that's the wrong one. Give me three seconds. Three, cancel, cancel, three seconds. Here we go. 14, bam, bam. So this washout starts on the 1st of December, ends on the 15th of December, right? The first two weeks. So the first load that was picked up is Houston, Texas to Kingman, Arizona. That was paying $3,150. And then we picked up Las Vegas, Nevada to Tucson, Arizona. That was paying $900. Then Phoenix, Arizona, Riverton, Utah, $1,500. Lehigh, Utah to Phoenix, Arizona, $1,100. Phoenix, Arizona to Dayton, Ohio, $3,000. Uh, Westchester, Ohio to Columbus, Ohio, $500. And then we actually had a low drop on us. So we ended up getting a tow new, a truck we're not used, for $200. And that took us to the 15th, okay? So now we'll go to the next one. Starting on the 16th, we did Warren, Michigan to Loudoun, Tennessee. That was $1,750. Then we did, oh, and then that's when the break took place, right? So you can tell that load was picked up on the 16th, dropped off on the 17th, and then the next load wasn't picked up till the 27th, okay? So that was a break. He went home from Tennessee. Um, then the 27th, he picked up a load of Springfield, Missouri to Weatherford, Texas to 1100 bucks. Then that was delivered on the 28th. 28th and 30th was Carlton, Texas to Salt Lake City, Utah, 3500 and the 30th, 31st to end out the month was Salt Lake City, Utah to Santa Fe Springs, California. Okay, guys, and he actually got, got him another load that's on the next washout. He's got $5,000 on the truck right now coming back this way. Okay, boys, actually think he's probably in Joplin, Missouri by now. He's going to spend the night at the house and go deliver. Um, so if we go back to that first one, his total gross was $10,350 in that two-week period. And then the two-week period with the break was, was a really good two-week period with 10 days off was $8,150, bringing the total gross to $18,500, guys. Now, I'm not making this video to flex, but I want to prove to you guys that consistency matters, okay? Rod was willing to go anywhere and make as much money as possible. We had a great dispatcher, Trent, helping him out, and he was able to make some money, guys, and that's what's important, okay? The money is out there. The loads are out there. It's about being in the right place at the right time and having the right equipment. Rod has a Ram 3500 with a 40-foot trailer with mega ramps that can haul roughly 17,000 pounds, okay? He's not a non-CDL guy, so if you roll into this video and see that, no, he has a CDL. He can haul at least 17,000 pounds, and a lot of these loads were probably over 13,000 pounds, okay, guys? I'm telling you, but he did do $18,500 with taking 10 days off, guys, in the month of December. Just think if Christmas was not there, guys. I mean, we probably could have had a 24, dollars 25, $26,000 a month, possibly, and it would have been super awesome. But like I said, guys, it's all about where you're at, when you're there, and, you know, having a good dispatcher will work out. But I'll tell you guys, if you're wanting to work over the winter, the, the, the money's out there. Just don't put yourself in over your head. You know, if there's going to be bad weather, you know, look beforehand. Don't just say, oh, it's paying good. I'm going to go for it. You know, really think about it. Don't put yourself in situations where the wind might be too high and you have an empty container or something that's going to make you flip over. It's not worth it, guys. I don't care how much it's paying. But I love you guys so much. I thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you all have a great day.